Hey guys, welcome to Shot Field Music. I'm Napoleon. Today we had a Tuesday gear day. Maybe you checked out my last song, uh, Circles by Post Malone. If you didn't, there's a link to it. In that song, you might have uh, realized that my vocals didn't sound like they usually do. Uh, that's because I used some effects in Cubase, which we're going to fire up and I'll show you how it's done. Turn around till we were upside down. I'm be the bad guy now. Well, welcome back to Shop Field Music. Today, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to go through and show you a little bit about the uh, production side of how we make songs. This is the song in Cubase. Uh, let me see, I got my vocals up here. These tracks, the orange and the gray here, I doubled the track up. And then all the different uh, instruments here. This is the bridge with no auto-tune going on. Just the original vocal track. Hey, maybe you don't understand what I'm going through. Don't let me. What have you got to lose? Make up your mind. Tell me what are you going to do? Don't let me. Let it go. Not the best. For this bridge, we went with a hard pan, so we'll just turn them on. You can definitely hear the difference. Maybe you don't understand what I'm going through. Don't let me. What have you got to lose? Make up your mind. Tell me what are you going let it go now you might notice you can hear a little uh, auto tune in there that's on purpose uh, post Malone I believe used it and uh, you know for a pop song I kind of like the flavor of there so we close up all the instrument folders here so we've got two vocal tracks and they're doubled up one of them is clean one of them has been auto tuned but they're the exact same vocal track in fact if I go back here, we can probably get rid of the auto-tune. Okay, now we should be able to really hear the vocals. We couldn't turn around Till we were upside down I'm be the bad guy now But no, I ain't too proud Okay. I couldn't be So as you can see, the vocal there sounds a little bit more like uh, what I usually sound like. So what we did is we just copied the vocal track and put it on the second line, which is the orange lines. Now it's broken down here a few times because I had a few different takes to get the whole song done. So this gray one is the first vocal. And the peach colored one is the second vocal. Same exact vocal track. However, if we listen to the same thing on the peach track. We couldn't turn around till we were upside down. I'm be the bad guy now. It's got a little bit more uh, reverb on it, a little more echoey, and it seems to be a little bit higher pitch. That's on purpose. Inside a Cubase, there are lots of inserts you can put in and plugins, insert plugins. They're uh, like analog effects that you can put on your guitar to get yourself compression, 
uh, distortion, a wah effect, things like that. Well, you can do all that stuff here uh, post after you've recorded the tracks. And uh, so I played with that a lot with the vocals. One of the uh, inserts is this, uh, is this plugin called Pitch Correct, which comes with the Cubase. Now, you can do a lot of different things with Pitch Correct. The thing I chose to do here for that second track, the peach colored one, is I changed the uh, I changed the vocal pitch from normal or male to become a female to just soften it and bring it up a little bit. And then I shifted the pitch up 11 uh, semitones. That just seemed to be a good place, you know, it's trial and error, whatever sounds good. But if we take this off, and again we're listening to just the peach colored track. We couldn't turn around. Sounds just like the original track. Down. If I turn it on. I'm be the bad guy now. But no, I ain't too proud. I couldn't be there. It's very subtle, but it just brings it up a little bit. Even when I tried, you don't believe it. Now doubling that up with the original vocal track, it gives the voice kind of a doubling effect, but it takes the tone, which may have been down here in my normal register, and it brings it up a little bit on the second track. We couldn't turn around till we were upside down. I'm be the bad guy now. But no, I ain't too proud. I couldn't be there, even when I tried. Now, when playing the song Post Malone, uh, the chords are very simple, and it's in the standard key of C major. And knowing that, we can go in and we can use that Pitch Correct plugin. Instead of changing the uh, the pitch to be more female gendered, um, we can have it auto correct, auto tune the notes that are sung into the major scale of C, and then you can adjust the correction how much tolerance, how much, how quickly you want it to make the change. How quickly you want it to just stay there, how, how subtle you want it to be. For this song, I went with a pretty hard pan, more like a, a T-pan, you know, the auto-tune like that you would hear in pop music. So turning that on, you can definitely hear a difference. We couldn't turn around and you can kind of see we here. were upside down blue and the yellow be the bad guy now. Um, it's showing but you where no I'm at too proud. and where the pitch should probably be I couldn't be there even when I tried you don't believe it so you can hear it for sure now you can certainly play with this with the speed and the tolerance. We couldn't turn around. You don't hear it as much, that is we were upside down. I'm be the bad guy now. So now it sounds more like my actual but vocal. No, I ain't too proud. I couldn't be there. Even when I tried. But again, for this song, I wanted it to be more noticeable. We couldn't turn around till we were upside down. I'm be the bad guy now. And when you add that second vocal track, which is the exact same vocal track, just transposed up a little bit higher to give it a, 
a higher pitch naturally than what I can do, and you double those up. We couldn't turn around. Gives it a little bit more uh, reverb in the down. room. I'm be the bad guy now, but no, I ain't too proud. And the vocal definitely sounds like it's been uh, adjusted and played with, which it has. All right, so we're taking a look at the bridge. This is the bridge with no auto tune going on, just the original vocal track. Maybe you don't understand what I'm going through. Don't let me. What have you got to lose? Make up your mind. Tell me what are you gonna do? Don't let me. Let it go. For this bridge, we went with a hard pan for both tracks. The normal vocal line and the one that had been pitched up a little bit. So, we'll just turn them on for both and you can definitely hear the difference. And we'll have you see down here as the pitch is shifted. Maybe you don't understand what I'm going through. Don't let me. What have you got to lose? Make up your mind. Tell me what are you gonna do? Don't let me. Let it go. See the check. Now you put those vocals in with all the other instruments. You go through and you EQ and you mix the levels correctly so that your vocals sit in the mix nicely and uh, it ends up sounding like it did in the We couldn't turn around till we were upside down I'm be the bad guy now but no I ain't too proud So that's how you can take a vocal track and add auto-tune to it. And to find the plugin that I'm talking about in here, um, you can just go into your inserts over here and add one down. It is in Pitch Shift and it's called Pitch Correct. And there it is. And again, you can optimize for male or female vocal. Shift up that vocal or down. And then the correction over here, you've got tolerance, speed, and transposing. It can be a chromatic, or you can actually set the key, the major or minor, to whatever key is that the song is in. And uh, I haven't used it for anything but my vocals, but I would imagine if you are playing um, maybe some horns or something and you're just a little off, you could probably use it on those two. I suppose possibly even your guitar or keyboard. But, uh, you know, for the most part, we like to keep things as analog as possible and true to what we're capable of doing 
But uh, for Circles being a pop song, we thought we'd have some fun and uh, see what we could do. Okay, so as a bonus, uh, say you're singing a vocal track. And it sounds pretty good, but you just got a couple of notes that are just a little off or whatever. Well, in Cubase, and probably in some of the other uh, DAWs that you use for production, you can go in and adjust those, uh, those small little uh, notes that are just a little bit off. And here's how you would do that. You would click into the WAV file, open it up in the editor, and over here you have Vary Audio in Cubase. You would click that, and then Pitch and Warp, you would click on the little arrow there, and it's going to go ahead and it's going to analyze what you've played, or what you've sang. And it's going to turn those into notes. Let me zoom in here. So it has the notes that you sang. And if they're a little bit off, when you go through, let's, uh, let's hear it, shall we? So here we're going to listen to a little bit of the vocal track. And you can see the notes being displayed. Okay, we got run away, we're running in circles here. So let's say we didn't like how it ended. We could change this just a little bit and maybe it would sound better. Run away, but we're running in circles. can't really tell the difference. Now, I'll make it more drastic for you. Run away, but we're running in circles. Now, obviously that was uh, really drastic. But if you got some notes that are just a little bit off, you can go in and uh, change where you'd like them to be. So there's lots of ways that uh, producers of uh, good quality music can, can go in and adjust for little imperfections, and you won't even know. Now, if you're not the greatest vocalist like me, you can go in here and really adjust it, but uh, if you're that far off, you're probably going to be able to hear it when you play back. But then again, maybe not always. So you never know. Well, okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, little tutorial on how to uh, use autocorrect and uh, pitch correction uh, in Cubase, the DAW that I use for uh, making my music. Uh, if you're using Cubase, uh, hopefully this was helpful for you. If you're using a different DAW, perhaps you've got uh, similar uh, plugins that you can use as well. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope that made sense. Uh, if it did, let me know in the comments. As always, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, bell it, yo. We'll see you again soon, guys, all right? Cheers. Hey, do us a favor. Please subscribe to Shopfield Music. Otherwise, we can't get out of this screen. Yes, help We're us. We're stuck here. Save. Save our souls. Please, save us. Like, subscribe, and bell it, yo. Cheers.